we are gathered here today for the end of Liverpool's title hopes, ladies and gentlemen. And I told you guys on numerous occasions on the football terrace, on here, on my own channel, on Never a Foul, on Hussam's channel, This Is Football, that Liverpool were not going to win the Premier League title this season. They just don't have enough. I told you guys Liverpool are not playing that well. They're just getting by. A lot of emotions. And today, Everton, fair play Everton, embarrassing Liverpool. And the final game for Jurgen Klopp at Goodison Park, and he faces a defeat. First time he faces a defeat at the hands of who? His Their fiercest rivals. They have not lost to Everton at Goodison Park in the whole reign of Jurgen Klopp's time. And you know how many times, how many times have I told you guys about Liverpool? How many times have I been on the football terrace and I told you guys about Liverpool? How many times have I said to you guys that Liverpool were, uh, two weeks ago, I told you guys Liverpool were finished. Two weeks ago, I told you guys Liverpool were finished. I also told you, I also told you that Liverpool are not a better team than Arsenal. I also told you years ago that Liverpool should have signed a striker named Ivan Tony. The same Ivan Tony, man's like Hussam and all these guys are screaming for to sign for their club back in January. <laughs> Coming back to this today, Liverpool today versus Everton at Goodison Park. What took place? What happened, ladies and gentlemen? How did Liverpool, who were top of the league, get a draw and two losses in their last four games? Only one win in their last four games. Only one win. And they let the likes of Dominic Calvin Lewin end their season. Everton fans were singing, You lost the league at Goodison Park. Wow. And you know what? You can't say that Liverpool didn't try. Liverpool threw the kitchen sink at them. They tried everything they could, especially in that second half. They had like 14 shots. They you're creating chance after chance, but they can't finish their dinner. They had a, they had like 77% possession. They out they outdid themselves when it came to everything else. But that final little minute detail, they couldn't score a goal. Today, Sean Deitch absolutely had a masterclass. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a ridiculously outperforming performance. No, he did what he needed to do. And this Liverpool team, injuries, poor performances, and just not being able to get it done late in the season has now committed to this. They're now, what, three points behind in the league table. They have 74, uh, 74 points. Arsenal have 77. We're level on, uh, we have the same amount of games, but their chances of winning this league title is finished. If you guys think Liverpool still have a chance to win this league title, let me know. Now, let's get on to some of these details. First, let's go to Trent. Trent was speaking about mentality. He was speaking about mentality a couple days ago. Trent Alexander-Arnold, yes, this man, Trent Alexander-Arnold, was speaking about mentality. You know what he had the audacity to talk about? This is what he had the audacity to talk about. Let me show you. Let me show you what Trent said. Uh, this was after the Aston Villa result. Trent said, if those fixtures were reversed and we played the second and Arsenal played the first, maybe it would have been different mentality. It all comes down to mentality. It, uh, I think our result played a part in the Arsenal result. And they have potentially gotten too excited. And though this is our chance and this is what we need to do. <laughs> so this time Arsenal played first and the pressure was on Liverpool. But you couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. And you know how I know their heads were gone. You know how I know these Liverpool uh, these Liverpool uh, guys already gave up before this game because of some of the interviews I was hearing from Trent. The interviews I was hearing from Trent Alexander Arnold, where he was where he where he's talking to exclusives to Sky Sports, where he's saying, you know what? It's hard, it's hard to think that Man City won't drop points. You know what? Let me bring you evidence. Here, Trent said it right there. It's hard to think Man City won't win it. 
Trent Alexander Arnold said this a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago, he said this. A couple of days ago. You mean this guy's in a title race and he's he's already crowning Man City the champions? I'm telling you, Man City have a psychological edge over Liverpool. And also, do it for Jurgen Klopp. That energy started to run out. That energy, the energy to, to doing it for Jurgen Klopp, which galvanized them, made them this team that was a force, made them give them an out of body experience, has now started to catch up to them. I genuinely believe, and you guys let me know what you guys think. I genuinely believe a part of the reason why Liverpool have started to burn out, that emotions and the fact that Jurgen Klopp is leaving is getting closer and closer, and the pressure of having to deliver for Jurgen Klopp last season is starting to get to them. It affected them in, 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 in the Europa League. It affected them in the league. And now you're starting to see them crumble. I wouldn't be surprised if they drop even more points from now until the end of the season. And this just now gives the advantage to Arsenal and Manchester City. Pressure is now on Manchester City. They play the next game soon. Man City play tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. They play Brighton at 8 p.m. Let's see what Man City do tomorrow versus Brighton at 8 p.m. They win that game, they go back above Liverpool, they go one point behind Arsenal. They drop points in that game. They put the league title back in Arsenal's hands. This is how the cookie can crumble sometimes. And going back to the Liverpool players, quickly, let's go through some of the players. Trent, good player. You can't you can't dispute everything he's done this season. Kanate, I, I need you guys to stop comparing Kanate to William Saliba. I don't want to hear William Saliba and Kanate comparisons ever again. Andrew Robertson. I genuinely believe Andrew Robertson's days as being a good uh, a good fullback is finished. Three out of 30, 16 crosses. 19% cross accuracy for for a left back. What is he? Robertson has lost it. He's no longer the guy he used to be. McAllister, one of the signings of the season, has a poor game when they need him the most. Mo Salah, he can't do it on his own. He's creating chance after chance. He can't do it on his own. He's taking shot after shot. He can't do it on his own. Darwin Nunes, useless once again. Darwin Nunes, useless once again. Always missing big chances. Always missing big chances. And Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz, ever since, ever since Mo Salah left, Luis Diaz has been non-existent. Or you know what? He's had moments, pops in, pops out. And then Diego Jota getting injured uh, last game really hurt Liverpool's chances of winning this league. Long story short, I did tell you guys, I did tell you guys on numerous occasions on the football terrace, I spoke to you guys about this. On numerous occasions on the football terrace, this season alone, I spoke to you guys about how Liverpool were not going to win the league. But hey, you guys didn't want to hear it. And now, I think you need to support us. You don't want Man City to win the league. You need to support Arsenal from now until the end of the season. You should hope that Arsenal win the league and not Man City. But hey, I'll leave you guys with this. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Commiserations to my fellow Liverpool, uh, to, to my fellow Reds, because we are red, you are red, but we're Arsenal, you're Liverpool. You guys bottled it. And also, let history remember, let history remember that Liverpool bottled the league this season with 87 games top. You had more games at the top of the league than us. And good old Jamie Carragher, who was saying Arsenal are not going to be able to win the league this season. They don't have the experience. They don't have the star quality. They don't have the great manager. Has just come out and said that Liverpool were punching above their weight. Hmm. So I leave you guys with this final question. Were Liverpool pun punching above their weight this season? Or were they actual real title contenders? You ponder on that. And if you enjoy these short videos, you might need to do more of them. Have a good one, ladies and gentlemen. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I got two match previews. I'm on the football terrace and I'm on Allen's channel. But peace.